Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to process a planetary image in PixInsight. All right, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we're going to go to process all processes unsharp mask. Basically, there's an unsharp mask in Photoshop as well. Um, but this is basically like wavelets in PixInsight. So first of all, we're going to turn up STD dev. Basically what this is, is how many pixels you're editing and sharpening at the, at a time. So probably around 230. As you see, it's a very small image. So I'm going to zoom it in slightly, um, because this was taken with a five inch mass top casting green. And so I'm going to turn the amount down a little bit. So this is how much you're doing at a time, like overall. So I'm going to turn down a 0.44 and I'm going to click a few times. As you see, it's already starting to get sharper and we're starting to gain some detail. So we're going to click a few more times. I think right here was actually the best. So we'll undo that, control Z. Now I'm gonna turn down the uh, pixel size a little bit, how much pixels we're adding in time. Just a little bit so we can edit like the finer details, the fainter little details. You see now littler details are popping out on the planet and there we go. Now we have a nice sharp image. So maybe one more time, let's see what that does. Yeah, I think this is perfect. So right there is the perfect amount. So I'm gonna close out of unsharp mask. Next, what we'll need to do, range selection. A range selection is gonna select everything besides the planet. First of all, we're gonna put it on a real-time preview. So what we wanna do is we wanna select as much as we can of the planet, including the exterior shadows of the planet like this. We're gonna turn up, uh, we're gonna probably turn this down actually until we can see a fair amount of detail. There, perfect. Right here is perfect because you can barely just see how the outline is. I think that's perfect right there. So we're just gonna click apply and we're not gonna invert it just yet. So now we have this range mask. So I can keep range selection open. We're now gonna open something called clone stamp. And this is basically gonna remove the excess it, uh, like moons and stuff. So we wanna get rid of these moons. So um, in order to do this, we're first gonna click on this image and we're gonna click a point right here to select the background. And then we'll start erasing the moons to make it equal to the background we selected. Go up here this moon because we want to just have the we're going to inverse it in a second to be everything but the planet okay so there we go we can click apply there we go we got that so now we can close out a clone stamp and now we can do range selection again but this time we're not going to change anything we're just going to click invert perfect as you can see now everything's inverted so we have all this selected except for the planet and what we're going to do with this range mask is we're going to apply it to this image so we're going to just going to drag it over here until there's a little square up here. And then we're going to do that. And we're not going to close out of it. Whoops, because that will damage the whole thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to process all processes. And we're going to click on something called histogram transformation. Um, we're going to select our image here in the view. So we're going to click on the view right here. And what we usually can see is there's a big peak over here. We're going to actually bring that down just slightly. And then we're going to bring this up right here, this mid-tone slider. As you see, only the moons are getting affected, but the planet is not, which is exactly what we want. As you see, the moons are now much, much brighter, and this is exactly what we want. We don't want the planet getting more bright. Think about right there is perfect. Now we might want to bring down the black point a slight bit more. Get rid of some of the, act. let me zoom in on this moon here. As you see, there's a little bit of stuff around it. So we're just gonna bring this in a little. Perfect, right there. All right, so I think we're good. We're gonna bring this out. And also what's good about taking down the blacks a little bit, this really helps get rid of the excess area around Jupiter, like the stuff you don't want. So yeah, that works really well. All right, so now we're gonna close out of this histogram transformation. Once you're done with the range mask, make sure to close out of it or click mask, enable mask to turn off the mask. Next, we're gonna go to process all processes and something called color saturation. This will really saturate the colors meaning bring the color out. So I'm just gonna click 0.5 on the saturation and click apply. As you see, it's much more colorful. Let's see how many times we really do we'll do it. Let's do it just twice. I think that looks really good. So we wanna apply this to the whole image. As you can see, here's our moon that barely has any detail because the pixels are really small because there's not enough pixels covering it because I undersampled just because I have a smaller scope. Um, Because I had to. <laughs> So usually the last thing I do is a color balance. So we're just gonna go to color calibration, color calibration, and click apply. And there we go, much, much better color. You see before, after, before, after, before, after. Much better, much more natural, in my opinion, compared to the new one. So here's the original, much blurrier, barely can see the moons. Yeah, barely, because you can't see, I mean. 
Um, we got Blur Your Planet, you know, not as colorful. And it just looks so much better, definitely. So that's basically how to process a planetary image in Pixinsight. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. Anyways, until next time, clear skies.